Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look on how many cores do we actually need for gaming in 2022. So how many cores do we really need? As you might know, cores is not everything. IPC, instruction per clock, count a lot as well. And as I don't have all the available CPUs for the last uh, 10 years available, I will be using my Core i9-12900K, disable the E cores, only using the performance cores, and then I will scale it down from 2 cores to 8 cores. Let's start with Dirt 5. As you might see, if you're running anything more than 4 cores, you should be fine. The PS does not increase that much if you're running with a 4 core CPU or 8 core CPU. I was hitting around 100%. GPU uses uh, up to 6 core, so you should not have that much running on the PC at the same time with the game. Next up is Metro Exodus. With 2 cores, the game won't even start, but we will see the same trend here. If you're running with 4 cores or more, you should be fine in this game as well. Then Rambo 6 Cs. We are running on high aka eSports settings, and we are just keep getting FPS increases up to 8 core. The game was using up to 93% on an 8-core 16-thread CPU, but I will say the game was running fine even on a 2-core with hypertonic. So if you need 600 FPS, well, get an 8-core CPU. Now let's take a look of Far Cry New Dawn. As you saw before, anything over 4-core is perfect for the game. The 2-core with hypertonic was running, but I got a lot of stutter. And 2-cores uh, only was unplayable. Counter Strike Global Offensive. Well, it can run on a potato. But I was surprised to see that I was keep uh, see scaling up to around six cores. So that's uh, really nice to see from my old title. Last game we set up the Tomb Raider. The game scales really good as well. With two cores, the game did run, but it took five minutes to load the game. Scaling stopped at around 6 core with hypertraining again, when we did not get any more FPS increases. So how many cores do you need? Well, if you're using a CPU with 4 cores uh, and hypertraining, you should be able to play the latest game without any problems. Not bad you will get more FPS with a better CPU, but you should be fine. But bear in mind, this test setup was uh, only the game and disk for running. So if you are a heavy multitasker with two or three monitors, a lot of background, programs, threads, YouTube, and stuff like that, I would recommend you to get at least a 6 core with hybrid training. If you want to see a test like this, just with how many cores do you need if you are a streamer, so you need to stream the game and play at the same time, then leave a comment below. And thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.